Hi. Let's learn about gamma hedging. Gamma hedging is a trading strategy that tries to maintain a constant delta in an options position, often one that is delta neutral, as the underlying asset changes price. It is used to reduce the risk created when the underlying security makes strong up or down moves, particularly during the last days before expiration. An option position's gamma is the rate of change in its delta for every one point move in the underlying asset's price. Gamma is an important measure of the convexity of a derivative's value in relation to the underlying asset. A delta hedge strategy, in comparison, only reduces the effect of relatively small underlying price changes on the option's price. A gamma-neutral options position is one that has been immunized to large moves in an underlying security. Achieving a gamma-neutral position is a method of managing risk in options trading by establishing an asset portfolio whose delta's rate of change is close to zero, even as the underlying rises or falls. This is known as gamma hedging. Gamma hedging consists of adding additional option contracts to a portfolio, usually in contrast to the current position. Gamma hedging is a sophisticated activity that requires careful calculation in order to be done correctly. Delta tells a trader how much an option's price is expected to change because of a small change in the underlying stock or asset. Gamma refers to the rate of change of an option's delta with respect to the change in the price of an underlying stock or other asset's price. Essentially, gamma is the rate of change of the price of an option. However, some traders also think of gamma as the expected change resulting from the second consecutive $1 change in the price of the underlying. Delta gamma hedging is an option strategy that combines both delta and gamma hedges to mitigate the risk of changes in the underlying asset, and also in the delta itself, as the underlying asset moves. By adding a gamma hedge, the delta hedge remains intact. Using a gamma hedge in conjunction with a delta hedge requires an investor to create new hedges when the underlying asset's delta changes. The number of underlying shares that are bought or sold under a delta gamma hedge depends on whether the underlying asset price is increasing or decreasing, and by how much. Delta and gamma hedging are often used together. A simple delta hedge can be created by purchasing call options and shorting a certain number of shares of the underlying stock at the same time. An investor may buy or sell shares in the stock as the underlying stock rises and falls in value to keep the position neutral. This can increase the trade's volatility and costs. Delta and gamma hedging don't have to be completely neutral, and traders may adjust how much positive or negative gamma they are exposed to over time. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Gamma hedging reduces exposure to large movements in the underlying security, particularly during expiration. 2. Gamma hedging, when used in conjunction with delta hedging, helps protect against rapid changes in the underlying asset's price that can occur as the time to expiry nears. 3. Gamma hedging is a sophisticated option strategy that requires careful calculation to be done correctly. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.